I've just set two of the springs, and what you want is this thing to float kind of in the middle of the cavity, so you got room to go down and up. So Paul, Paul gets a lot of guitar orders, right? Some of them are simple. I just want a 56 strap that you built that's going to be this awesome tool that I can use to express myself. And others are a little more difficult. Let's talk about the hard ones. Tell us about the most difficult build that you've had. Well, that double neck was tough. That's a tough guitar. Um, I also did, uh, one, after working in Gretsch, I really, I really love the Gretsch brand, but my heart is with Fender. Um, so I knew that I wanted to be a Fender master builder because I had the option of staying in the Gretsch department and maybe pursuing a Gretsch title, master builder title. But like I said, I, my heart's with Fender. And so what I did was I, I love Tellys. Tellys are like my favorite guitars to make. I just think it, it's, such a, it's such a classic shape. And I'm more of a bass player than a guitar player, so the this little thing that wiggles down here and all the all the switching it confuses me. I'm I'm not that smart. So I want just something easy I can plug in that's got a volume and a tone knob. That's easy for me. <laughs> and so um, love the telly and I love Gretsch, so I just put the two in a blender and I made this little thing called a white chicken. I don't know if anybody's ever seen the white chicken. It's um, it's dressed up like a white falcon. You know what a white falcon is? And I made the the body. It's all hollow. And it's bent sides, and I hand carved a top and a back. So it's a traditional uh, guitar making process with a set neck, and um, it's all white with all uh, the gold sparkle binding and the gold hardware and a big ski. And it was really cool. Yeah, everybody <laughs> asked about it. It was it. really, really cool. And that was one of those guitars I wanted to keep. Every once in a while, a guitar will come across the bench and uh, I want to keep it. And that was one of them. So, so Paul's, you know, he's really good with the nuts and bolts of everything, but he's also very interested in the, the, the sonic qualities of an instrument. So he would spend a lot of time after work winding pickups. Paul time to go, oh, no, 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 I got this thing in my head. I gotta let me finish this up. One of the pickups that he designed turned out to be one of our most popular pickups of the recent past. It's a twisted Tele Bridge pickup. Those are on the Tele Pros that they have in the showroom right now. Let, let's talk a little bit about that and the process behind uh, you know, what you were thinking when you created that, what you were trying to accomplish. Uh, once again, I love the Tele. Um, I, my goal is there's a, there's a lot more strap players than Tele players, it seems like. I think it's somewhere in the range of every 10 straps that we make, we make a Tele or something like that. <laughs> And uh, so it's like, oh, how can I get some of those strat guys to come back over to the telly side of things and at least get them to, to play one because you know, I like them and I want to share that. So the bridge pickup on, on like the no-cast and stuff, it's, it's really loud and it'll cut through a mix, but it'll also rip your head off if you get it loud enough. And it doesn't take pedals that great. And I wanted something, uh, the P90 is one of my favorite pickups, so I kind of wanted to move it towards the P90 range. So what I did was I took the bobbin, and if you, if you look at a bobbin of a Tele bridge pickup, it's pretty tall. So I took that thing and I squashed it down so it would fatten out the coil, and it makes a much warmer, fatter sounding bridge pickup, which I think a lot of Tele guys are looking for, because the Tele's great. It's a great guitar, but it's limited, in my opinion. So I wanted something just to just to bring it up a notch so that, like I said, get those guys to come over to the dark side. And uh, <laughs> if, if you want, if you choose, go into that gallery and there's amps there. You can plug it in. There's a few pros in there that have the RSD bridge and uh, that has that pickup in it. And you can compare one to the other and you can see what I'm talking about. I'm not very good at explaining it, but it's a much warmer, fatter, you get more mid-range and more low-end. 
from the bridge pickup, which is hard to do with the telly. Yeah, I, I can't say that I was shocked, but, but I was shocked at how popular and how quickly that pickup took off. I remember the, the very first time we showed it, we were at a road show in the States, and they, they dropped them uh, just to, they're like, we need that, we need to change everything, put this pickup on everything. And it was, uh, it was really cool to look at his face. Yeah. It was really something special. It's like he's, he's creating more. Let's talk about what you want. You, you spend your days building what everybody wants. What I want, what they want, what the artist wants, what Justin wants. What do you want to build for yourself? If there was one thing that you could build and take home tomorrow, what would you do? The telly. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm more of a bass player, so I would, I would probably make a, a, a P bass. Uh, I like uh, I like the kind of like what Adam where Adam was headed with his. I like a, a jazz neck because it's it's faster, and it's easier to get around, and the, but I love the sound of a P bass. So I, I would probably do uh, the P bass with the jazz nut with and just like black, just black covers. So this guitar that Paul is putting together, it's it's available if somebody wants to buy it. You can buy it tonight. And if you buy it tonight, you can get a picture of me and the guitar. No, you get a picture of, <laughs> of Paul and the guitar, and he'll sign the back of the headstock. In fact, anything you buy tonight, Paul will sign. I'll sign it too. <laughs> when you're not looking. So what we're going to do here is, is Paul's going to get this tuned up, and, and Justin's going to plug it in and, and just tear it down. How are we doing with time? 